Hello everyone. Uh, this is me, Pancha Thapa. Uh, and uh, Sayyidah Mustafa Zatami. Yeah, this is uh, Sayyidah Mustafa Zatami. We both are here to present our paper on politeness, uh, power and solidarity in SMEs. So here it goes. Uh, as we all know, politeness in uh, general terms indicates a socially acceptable behavior using certain manners and etiquettes. It is a socialization process where every adult who is competent enough in any society learns how to behave politely. Historically, if we trace the term polite, can be found in the 15th century. It is derived from the medieval Latin politus, meaning smooth and accomplished. Linguistical, linguistic politeness can be expressed both verbally and non-verbally in any language. Verbally, the use of indirect speech and respectful terms are the means of showing politeness. For instance, in English, the word please is used mostly in their conversation to make it more polite and formal. Although in certain scenarios, Politeness can also be shown through only gestures and postures, depending on the cultural diversity of the particular language community. Linguistic politeness certainly upholds a major place in social study of language. Many scholars have carried politeness as a matter of study to a wide cultural range. There are several theories that have been proposed on politeness and also has been considered as scholarly concepts. One of the major aim of this paper concentrates on the fact that how politeness in SMS language is utterly based on the theory of Brown and Levinson's theory of politeness, which mainly focuses on the positive and negative face of politeness. Now, let us discuss briefly about Brown and Levinson's theory of politeness. The theory of politeness by Brown and Levinson is used extensively as a basic research, not only for linguistics, but also in various other fields like economics, psychology, and so on. In 1987, both Brown and Levinson came up with the idea of public face. Face is a socially attributed aspect of self that is temporarily on loan for the duration of interaction in accordance with the lines that the individual has adopted. The idea of public face consists of two related aspects, that is positive face and negative face. Positive face can be depicted through the desire to be liked, respected, and appreciated by others. Whereas a negative face can be depicted by the desire of freedom of action and from imposition. Therefore, in this paper, we're trying to focus on the application of Brown and Levinson's idea of public face in SMS language. Now, for, uh, first of all, let me introduce you with the SMS language briefly. SMS, which is also known as Ahomia, is the easternmost Indo Aryan language in India. It is mainly spoken in Assam and also some neighboring states like Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. Assamese serves as a lingua franca to many other language families like Tibeto Burman, Austro Asiatic, and Taikarai. Assam is itself a multi ethnic st state and it is known for its diversity in its culture and traditions. Every community has its own way of expressing politeness in both verbal and non verbal means of communication. Now, let us discuss about the application of positive and negative politeness in SMS language. Firstly, politeness basically depends on the demand of a particular situation, along with the necessities and abilities, as well as the obligations of the participants. Brown and Levinson believe that the central theme of politeness is rational as well as face. In a conversation, in a speaker, Finds them with quite possible strategies of 
the distance of the relationship with the participants. The most effective strategy is the use of both negative and positive politeness. Now, in the case of Adam's language, we use positive politeness where there is shortening of distance between the speakers, like among friends or someone related to us. But rather, we tend to use negative politeness by using certain face saving acts. Like while initiating a conversation using certain requesting terms or ending it in a form of in an introduction which refers to the maintenance of a communal behavior and humble nature towards the hearer. Following some of the instances, uh, this is a request form. Could you please could you give me pen? Second example, could you come to Kodiba Please, will you please do my work? Keep in the second sentence, we haven't used any request terms. The term baru automatically takes a polite, polite form, humble to language, which we'll discuss further. Although, most of them in SMS language, Communication. Second example, if there is, you tell me about the discussion. Above mentioned examples of using negative particle as a politeness strategy is usually preferred by participants to in of distance with the hearer. Next topic that is politeness both in syntactic and pragmatic context. While addressing or cooperating with someone, polite behavior can be observed by the acts of our day-to-day -day lives. It also includes the speaker and hearer's viewpoints. In Assamese, language, the exhibition of polite behavior can be licensed in both syntactic and pragmatic contents to address the situation or the communication politely. Syntactically, the norms get reflected in either nominal or verbal paradigm. In SMEs, to address someone with a respect with respect or requesting factor, we use some terms such as Srijut for Mr. and Srijuta for Miss. Those tags or terms imply the extension of polite behavior towards them. For example, Srijut Robin Bora more kokar bundhu. Mr. Robin Bora is my grandfather's friend. And the second example, Srijuta Bina Kolita Agoraki Bhal Lekho. Ms. Bina Kolita is a good writer. The next part will be carried on by Mustafiza Tamil. Thank you, Priyanshi. I'll be I'll be talking about the various social groups uh, regarding SMS language, which will be based on power and solidarity of politeness so uh, according to leach uh, 1893 politeness can also differ based on various social relations in a society to establish and maintain a feeling of committee and solidarity so for instance uh, people who are friends with or related to would be using very bold and bold expressions in the form of command uh, which is very normal in a, every language. Uh, as in uh, in SMEs, we can say uh, kitab khan dia, give me the book. Or uh, we can say bhat khaboloy aha, come have your meal. So these are the bold expression which we use uh, normally when we uh, yeah, like uh, talk to our friends and like uh, close to us, like very informal communications. Uh, so uh, next, uh, in like uh, in a very uh, uh, say 
where uh, like uh, when we uh, talk to some uh, elderly person or like a high profile personality so uh, we use some honorific terms so uh, we can say the uh, people belonging to a powerful position in a society uh, would be addressed with a much more humble tone along with certain uh, polite terms uh, as mentioned above uh, as pnj said uh, uh, with elderly person we address them uh, with certain respectful terms we, which are basically influenced by honorificity again uh, in the level level of levels of stratified society the use of honorifics is found in different levels with an idea of low to high status so the politeness treatises of uh, socio cultural and socio economic fields are uh, greatly influenced by this honorificity so uh, we use the two the, the different terms for the same word sir uh, such as mohahoy and mohudoy uh, to address the person who holds a powerful position in sme society uh, which reflects the role of speaker in the, the immediate con the context of socio cultural or socio economic fields so we can consider the following examples for this like uh, in socio cultural context uh, if we have to invite a high personality to a stage we address him with the above mentioned text like uh, mohakhoy so uh, just as moy ajir hobha hobhapati mohudoyok mohabapati mohudoyok monsholoi amontron janaisu here the term mohudoy is uh, um, applying the uh, person as a uh, the, uh, we addressing him as a sir i am inviting today's uh, president Alex. sir to the stage So, as I said, in socio-cultural context, uh, if we have to invite a high personality to a stage, we address him with the, with the above mentioned text, uh, like "Moi ajir hoba puti mohodoyok monsholu amantran janaisu." So, it will be like I am inviting today's president sir to the stage. So, mohodoy will be addressing the term sir in SMS. So likewise in socio economic platform whenever we want to enter in a high personality room or something so we have to address him like mohudoy mohudoy mor khumabo parune like sir may I, can i come in or may i come in so uh, in the next slide uh, so uh, we use some typical term like baru particle in uh, sms uh, so uh, this uh, this is uh, the another typical sms term uh, which is used within the territory to express a humble response in several informal and uh, spoken context of communication such as moi uh, jam baru so baru is nothing but uh, whenever we say okay i will go so this is uh, something a little uh, polite behavior while using in like normal communication again the use of same particle in another context shows the existence of politeness within the theater with a re requesting manner yet this particle would hardly have any lexical meaning but this existence of it helps in the expression of politeness in a very simple way of speaking so for instance muk kalam tu diba niki baro will you give me the pen so here will mean the normal polite behavior in our day to day lives so next um so these are the uh, informal context uh, where polite behavior of assam is society reflects in the means of communication in distinct social platforms so politeness also differs depending on the various class strata of a society by the marking of honorificity Uh, a person from a lower class strata is often tend to address by toy in sms while upper class would be would be addressed by apuni and so this is very normal and well known for everyone here uh, here we can mention about the representation of power of different classes of society by the uses of linguistic politeness in our uh, communication so lastly we would like to conclude this paper by mentioning that this is our attempt just a simple attempt to represent the various ways of expressing politeness in assamese language by keeping brown and levinson's theory of politeness as a base of the study and it also shows how assamese is more inclined to the use of a negative phrase or politeness due to the richness in its cultural diversity and the welcoming nature of the people
and it also highlights the application of politeness uh, through honorific and kinship term as we have mentioned in both synthetic and pragmatic context along with this uh, asmis has certain typical particles which are often used to express politeness like uh, i have explained like the use of particle baru which is who is explained in uh, detail examples uh, so therefore it is a hope that uh, this paper will help in providing a visionary overview of both the social and pragmatic perspective of politeness behavior in any in indian language language uh, to carry further study uh, in this direction so thank you we are actually talking about this um, politeness okay and what i found uh, i found quite uh, interesting some of the things are really interesting here that uh, while talking about the politeness you are actually um, focusing on the lexical expressions okay you are focusing on certain type of discourse particles like okay baru yeah. okay yes and also yes. Uh, you, you are actually you have mentioned uh, this uh, certain type of synthetic constructions okay yes and see um, what is your opinion about uh, if i say that uh, politeness is also conveyed through uh, the uh, through the through through the phonological means okay so what would be your this one Uh, regarding this thing so uh, phonological view uh, if we take the example of that very particle baru so uh, sometimes we use it uh, in a very like um, uh, um, like uh, in polite way also like uh, if we say baru moy kam to kori dim like uh, then uh, if we like uh, have the intention of ignoring something like uh, if we say bar us silo like dekhte hain kya hota hai let's see what to do like we are not interested and uh, we are also disrespecting her opinion or something like that so this is a kind of tone which impact in that word uh, if we can uh, like uh, well, like uh, present in through the phon like phonological way so that kind of thing also like uh, uh, yeah thank you right yeah. uh, tamim you are actually right so what okay. seems to me that i um, mean see actually even in uh, hindi equivalent of okay uh, i might be wrong because i am not the native speaker of hindi acha mm. okay so yeah. um, acha can be used in several ways isn't it acha ye kaam main kar dunga okay so ha, i can ha. say in this way ha. yes yes uh, sir i can even uh, say that अच्छा अच्छा और ज्यादा बात नहीं करना है ठीक है अभी आप चुप हो जाओ ओके नाउ सी इन मेकिंग यूज ऑफ अच्छा बट द सेंस ऑफ पोलाइटनेस व्हिच इज बीइंग कन्वेड थ्रू अच्छा इज मेनली बिकॉज ऑफ द वे इट इज बीइंग यूज्ड ओके दैट मींस एग्जैक्टली इट सीम्स टू अस समटाइम दैट प्रोबेबली द फोनोलॉजिकल लेयर और द फोनोलॉजिकल कलर्स ओके इट हैज समथिंग टू डू विद दिस थिंग्स ओके सो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू Uh, look at this particular issue because yeah it's right that there are lexical expressions there are syntactic expressions mm. but uh, in most of the cases what we have seen that this phonological uh, layers okay they are mm. rather more uh, uh, significant while conveying the sense mm. of politeness anyway thanks okay, to pmc as well as to um, saida ji okay yes sir. thank uh, you sir